Ah. Greetings fellow YouTubers. Herb Lindsay here. How you doing? Uh, welcome to my gardening channel. In today's video, I am going to uh, introduce you to a new gardening method that I just learned and found out about earlier earlier in the um, well I first heard about it last year it's called uh, milk jug sewing milk jug gardening more properly referred to as winter sewing and uh, this particular gardening method has the potential to save you time and money and effort uh, all the way across the board uh, so what it is you see all these down here this is this is how I plant seeds now I don't start seeds indoors uh, this is so phenomenally awesome so what you do is you save up milk jugs and you create a small terrarium type atmosphere inside the milk jug and you just put it out so uh, before I show you the insides of the milk jugs before I show you go to the table and show you how I how I did these a few days ago what I want to do is I want to answer a couple of common questions number one you're going to use the best potting soil that you can get your hands on you do not want to use seed starting mix you want to use potting soil organic if possible but don't go out and spend 30 40 50 dollars on a bag uh, one cubic foot of potting soil can do a lot of milk jugs uh, when you save your milk jugs, you're going to rinse them out with cold water. Um, you, just rent, don't, you, you don't need to use bleach or soap or anything like that. Throw the lid away. You won't need the lid. All right, and put them up on the top shelf of some place or stick them in your garage. Leave the lid off. The uh, insides of the water will evaporate and it won't smell. If you put the lid back on it, it's going to stink to high heaven when you cut it open. Um, can you use any other type of jug? Yes, as long as it's transparent and it's food safe. Um, if it's a solid color, like the milk jugs that are solid white, I uh, shouldn't be using those. So uh, you want something that is just like these milk jugs, that is transparent so the light can get into it. And what happens is you get, it's like a little terrarium inside and it has its own little ecosystem. I have not watered these, not once. Um, I have put them here, I planted them. It's a set it and forget it. Now if you're, set it and forget it seed, seed growing system. Now if you are in a hotter climate, yes, you will have to put water in them. And um, basically what you do is you pick it up and if it feels really light, you know, it needs water because it should, it should be a little heavy with all the water in there. Now, I'm going to switch to my cell phone. It has a smaller lens. This will be easier to, easier to do that way. I'm going to show you what the seedlings look like inside the milk jugs. And then we'll head over to the grow table and you can, I'll show you how to do it. Look at that. Now, this is lettuce. Now, lettuce, I have planted lots of seeds. I'm doing high yield gardening. These, these plants aren't leaving the milk jug. I'll take the top off of it once the temperature is right and I'll harvest the leaves directly from here. Here's some more lettuce. I planted these a little later. And here is spinach. Now, I'm, this is also the final home of the spinach. It's not, uh, it's not leaving this jug either. Now here's cabbage, and uh, these will get separated out and planted into pots. All right, so I've got some stuff gathered here that uh, we're going to need. First, you're going to need the milk jug. You're going to need something to cut with. Now I've got some kitchen scissors. They ended up in the garage. I'm not sure how, but they're mine now. Don't judge, ladies. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use a drill to drill the holes with. And then I've got this potting mix. Let me show you um, I, over by the side of the house. Uh, I have another, I have a, a, a full bag of it so you can actually see what it is. Um, I've had pretty good luck with this. It just happened to be the cheapest thing. And, uh, you know, had some good reviews. Uh, they, my sprouts came up. That's all I can say. Let's get started. The first thing I do, I drill four holes in the bottom and two holes in the sides. Do that first. It's easier to do before you cut the top off. Now, 
you can see I have already drilled this but let's say you didn't have a drill you can always take your scissors and you can kind of try to punch a hole some people use the use this technique and it works you just want to make sure it's about a quarter of an inch big it does work you can do it that way I just have a drill now this jug like I said it was already pre-drilled I do one two three four and I do one about an inch up on the side just two on the sides all right and that's it now um, you want to do cut around the edge of it you want to cut just beneath the handle and you want to leave a little one inch lip on the side over here opposite the handle all right so you're gonna leave just a little, little lip right there where the top is still attached a lot of that that's pretty much the way to do it it's the way everybody does it works great and I'm gonna use the drill a hole method to get my cutting started and this is how I do it now other people will do it differently uh, just make sure you cut it pretty straight now that's where I want to stop there because I want the I like the side opposite the handle to be where it's attached so I go back to my hole and I'll cut again if you cut past it you can you can stop at another side that's fine I, that's the side I prefer it makes sense to me and you can see it's still attached you can fold it back like that I have a sharpie extreme all right now this is not foolproof a lot of people say they do eventually fade uh, and that's okay I think I think I'll, I'll know the difference between lettuce and spinach once they grow cabbage I'm not sure about all right so today is February 21st and this is going to be lettuce and you can also write this on the inside if it's not wet, which mine is. Um, so I put um, a total of six spadefuls in each of these. Um, now, it took four spadefuls without packing it, uh, at which point I went ahead and put my Trifecta Plus soil additive in it, fertilizer, whatnot. Uh, then I gently packed it and it took another couple of spadefuls now guys if you don't want to do that You know use your own best judgment as to how much soil to put in here This is probably a little full, but you know after it sits It's gonna settle a little more and you the last thing you want to do is not put enough soil and only have just an inch in the bottom Because I have actually done that with another with the the, the two or three that I planted earlier uh, so you're gonna You're gonna just soak this down Give all the water, I mean, all the, all the water a chance to get soaked in, and you want to give the, um, the air a chance to, to get out, all right? Just soak it. You can't use too much. As long as you got your drainage holes in there, you'll be fine. All right, I'm going to do four holes. I've seen people do as many as six tomato plants. I'm doing the last of my 2016 Early Girl Tomatoes. I love these. And uh, look these up. These are a very versatile plant. They take a variety of soils. I plant these in my clay soil in the front. They do great. They can take heat. They can take cold. They, they're, still, they're still frost sensitive. But I really like these. So if you live in a climate that has extremes, I would not hesitate to try these uh, down in Texas. I would love to know how these how these work down in Texas if anybody's used early girl tomatoes in hot weather all right so there's you can do as many as six I've, I've heard people do six uh, six plants or more in in, in one jug uh, I'm, I'm not brave enough uh, now I'm also doing some high yield gardening where I've planted like 50 or 60 different um, lettuce. So I'm doing leafy greens, lettuce, and spinach. Uh, spread them out, and that their permanent home will be in the jug. Now you want to make sure that you have plenty of water, and you want to have plenty of. Uh, you want to make sure this is potting mix, because this will be the permanent home of these plants for a couple of months. So they're going to need food. All right, I'm going to do the same thing over here, and then I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to show you how to tape one of them. 
Alrighty guys, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tape this sucker shut. Now I like to wrap tape all around the outside. I like to seal it in. Some people just some people just do a single piece of tape on one side. It actually does seem to work for some people. So if you want to do that, more power to you. Um, I do start out with a piece of tape on one corner just to hold it in place. Now I like brightly colored duct tape. Makes me feel good about myself. I feel like a real man using bright yellow duct tape. I'm kidding. Obviously I'm kidding. Do not take anything I say seriously because I really don't know what I'm doing. Uh, this is my first year doing this. All right, I'm finishing up this duct tape here. Now I'm gonna do this for a couple of more containers, but those don't need to be on video. Now you wanna make sure this is stuck all the way around really well. And you wanna also make sure that you've dried your container because uh, you know duct tape is kinda crappy compared to the duct tape we had as a kid. The reason why I say make sure it is stuck quite well, just kind of rub and scratch at all the way around, make sure, because you're gonna, still gonna try to pick it up by the handle when you pick it up. And if your duct tape is crappily put on there, uh, yeah, you're gonna do some damage. That's winter sewing in a milk jug. Um, it works quite well, I've been very pleased. Um, I'm gonna do two more, but I'm not gonna do them on camera. Uh, and I'm gonna move those out to my uh, my raised bed out here in the backyard where they get plenty of sunshine on the hillside. Guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I will do some updates on this as they grow when I take them out. Um, and I'll, I'll show you guys the, the whole process from planting to you saw some of my sprouts, but I'll do another sprouts video here in a little bit to share that as well. Uh, and then I'll also have some of the harvesting. Guys, I appreciate you watching. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, everybody enjoy the rest of your week. Keep fighting a good fight. And hey, I'll see you in the next video.